Here's problem 35. A long straight wire is bent as shown to form two parallel straight wires in a semicircle radius of 2 meters. A current of 40 amps is directed as shown. What is the magnitude of the magnetic field at point C, the center of the circle along which the semicircle lies? Alright, so we have a current going, starting to the right like this, 40 amps, and it's going to go all the way around and then return back. So it's coming in semi-infinitely long as it approaches this point. Let's imagine that we've got an x-axis here and a y-axis here right through our center point. So here's our point C. And uh, the first current is coming in semi-infinitely long and it's a straight line up to this y-axis. So let's think of that as segment number one with a line of action parallel to the x-axis. Then we have a curved segment coming around like this. And let's think of that as segment number two. And then we have another semi-infinitely long wire going back like this. Let's call it segment three with a line of action parallel to the x-axis like that. So what we want to do is find the contributions of these three segments at point C and then we'll superimpose those contributions together, add them together, and get our net magnetic field at point C. So that's our approach. So if we look at segment number one, we have a B1 is going to be equal to mu naught i over 4 pi r cosine theta 1 minus cosine theta 2, where theta 1 is the lead angle between the current direction and the um, vector to the point, and theta 2 is the lead angle between the current direction at the end of the segment and the vector to the point as well. So as I'm looking at this, theta 1 will be from this direction and the direction to the point. So that's theta 1 right there and theta 2 will be at the end of the line segment and the direction to the point. So this right here is theta 2. It's going to be a 90 degree angle. If I extend semi-infinitely long to the left, theta 1 is going to actually be equal to 0 degrees and theta 2 will be equal to 9 degrees. So we'll have uh, 0 degrees here, 9 degrees here, cosine of 0 is, is 1, cosine of 90 is 0, so we're just going to have 1 minus 0 in the parentheses. So now B1 is going to be equal to mu naught, which is 4 pi times 10 to the minus 7, times the current, which is 40 amps, over 4 pi times R. What is R? R is the shortest distance to the line of action from the point. In this case, it's this distance which happens to be the radius of that circle, 2 meters. So even though the, the line segment is skewed, we just want that shortest perpendicular distance, and that is going to be equal to 2. All right, and then we have cosine of 0 minus cosine of 90, 1 minus 0. 4 pi's cancel out. 40 divided by 2 is 20, so times 10 to the minus 7 is going to give me 2 times 10 to the minus 6 Tesla for B1. By the right hand rule, with this current going off to the right like this, and pointing my thumb in that direction, curling my fingers around behind like this, that means this actually uh, curl my fingers around the other way because will be going into the page at point C. So B1 is actually into the page like this as we curl around. Okay. What about B3, segment 3? Well, it's a line segment as well. So that would be mu naught i over 4 pi r cosine theta 1 
minus cosine theta 2. And in this case, as we are going off to the left, like this, theta 1 is going to be that angle to the point here. So that's going to be this first lead angle, which is going to be 9 degrees. And theta 2, as I'm going off in this direction and pointing back to this point like this, this would be theta 2. And theta 2 will be equal to 180 degrees. All right, so looking at B3, we're going to have mu naught, which is 4 pi times 10 to the minus 7, times the current, 40 amps, over 4 pi. R is going to be that distance to from the point to the line of action. So again, it's the radius of the circle again. So that's 2. And we'll have the cosine of 90 degrees minus the cosine of 180 degrees. As we go through that, cosine of 90 is actually 0. Cosine of 180 is a negative 1. So we'll have a minus negative 1 or plus 1. 4 pi's cancel out. And we end up with 40 divided by 2. 2 times 10 to the minus 6 Tesla again is our answer. Direction, using the right hand rule for a current going to the left like this, pointing in that direction and trying to find out um, what's happening with above this point at point C. We are going into the page again. So B3 is into the page. So we have two magnetic fields going, adding together, going into the page at point C. We want to find the last one, B2, segment 2. That's equal to mu naught i over 4 pi r theta, where theta is the angle in radians. So this is going to be 4 pi times 10 to the minus 7 times 40 amps over 4 pi. The radius of that curvature is 2 meters. And theta is just half a circle. So theta is pi. 4 pi's cancel out. I end up with 2 times 10 to the minus 6 times pi, which is going to give me 6.28 times 10 to the minus 6 tesla. Curling my fingers around that curvature in that direction, I find that um, I'm going into the page again at that point. So B2 is into the page. So they're all three adding into the page, and so my net field will be the sum of the three. My field at that C is equal to B1 plus B2 plus B3. So that's going to be equal to 2 plus 2 plus 6.28. All this times 10 to the minus 6. And so that's going to be 10.3 times 10 to the minus 6 Tesla. As we've drawn it, it is all into the page. So that's our answer. 10.3 microtesla into the page at point C.